Okay, so we have to pick a row or column that looks like it's going to be relatively nice to do. I think either column one or column four would be fine, right? So plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So I don't know, maybe we just expand right down column number one. And so we could say that the determinant of this particular matrix would be 0 times 6, 7, 0, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 0. So it's plus, and then we go minus 5, right? So minus 5, and then here we'll have 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 1, and 2, 3, 0. Then plus 1. 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 0, and 2, 3, 0. And then we'll have a subtraction of 0 times the last one, but this one doesn't particularly matter. So 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 0, and 8, 9, 1. So let's just get rid of these ones and see what we have left over. So negative 5, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 0. So I'm going to, just in green, I'm going to write down the first two columns again, just so we can do just a quick weave method on these. So 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 0, and 2, 3, 0. Because nobody wants to do cofactor expansion like more than once, right? So 373. So that would be my recommendation. So here we'll have negative 5, and then we need to add up our three kind of positive numbers. So 2, 9, 0, 3, 1, 2, which is 6. And then we have 4, 8, and 3. So 32 times 3, is that like 66? No, 96. So 4 times 8 times 3, 96. And then subtract 0, subtract 6, and subtract 4 times 9 times 2, which is 72. Okay, and then we'll add to that. Again, we'll do our, our three kind of cross terms first. So 2 times 7 times 0, we have 3 times 0 times 2, and then 4 times 6 times 3, which is 72. And then we have to subtract off our three cross terms here. So 0, 0, and 4 times 7 times 2, which is 56. I don't know why I put my calculator away, because we'll probably need it immediately right away. Uh, OK. So 6s six and 6s will add up and give us 0. So we basically have negative 5 times 96 minus 72, which is 24. And we have to add to that 7, 72 minus 56, which is 16. Negative 5, okay, so negative 5 times 24 plus 16 should give us a negative 104. 